Greetings everyone and welcome back to another Cheapo device review. In today's one, I'm going to be taking a look at a smartwatch. It's not just any old smartwatch, it's the thinnest smartwatch in the world according to its box. And they really hammer that advertising in on the box that this is the thinnest smartwatch in the world. Granted this was probably sold a couple of years ago and obviously there are thinner smartwatches on the current market, but for this one, that's its claim to be the world's thinnest one, so we'll just go along with it and say today we're looking at the world's thinnest smartwatch. Before I start looking at the world's thinnest smartwatch and its listing, I'll give you the usual timestamp reminder. If you need to use the timestamps in the description as well as the pinned comment, feel free to use them to skip along to wherever you like, because I'm going to be going through the listing, as I just said. And I actually haven't looked at this smartwatch too much. I've basically powered it up, make sure it did work, and then that's it. I haven't done anything else. So this video is probably going to be really chaotic. So if you need to use those timestamps, feel free. And also, if you need to use uBlock, AdBlock, Revanced, or whatever is on mobile to skip the ads that get automatically added into the videos, even though I try to minimize them down, down, they get added automatically back in. So it's just something that YouTube does. If you need to use them to skip the ads, that's completely fine. I know it can be very disruptive at times. So that option's there for you. Alrighty, with that out of the way, today we're looking at the 2023 new 1.7 inch HD screen smartwatch heart rate monitor waterproof relodge, relodge sports tracker fitness bracelet MW0 smartwatch. And currently this is on Alibaba for $16.50 and $7 shipping, giving us a total of $23.50 in US, so I'll display a currency conversion chart to give you a rough idea of how much this thing does cost, give or take, probably about $30. I did find one on AliExpress, but the listing is now gone, and it was about $32 Australian all up for this thing. Also, some retailer in Australia is trying to sell this for $250, and they say this is from 2021. Yeah, $259 Australian from this place, which makes me wonder where my unit originated from. Now, we do have a quick spec sheet, which says the brand name is Fanjun. Fanjun? Fan Shun. It's one of those. Screen resolution is 320 by 240. The operating system supposedly is Android. That is not correct. I can tell you that. It is IP67 certified. The model is Mobile Watch smartwatch. It has heart rate detection, a 200 milliamp hour battery. The model number is MW0. The display is IPS. The screen's less than two inches. It's got a touchscreen, QWERTY keyboard, app control, IP67, and then it cuts off. No camera. Case material is alloy. It is a sports smartwatch or a sports smart bracelet, whichever one you'd like to go with. Here is where things get slightly confusing because there's another spec sheet which says the product name, product size, the watch weight being 43 grams, which is pretty light for a watch. The display is a 1.7 inch HD IPS with a resolution of 240 by 280 which kind of makes a little bit more sense than 320 by 240 but we'll see if we can find it out magnetic wire for the charging method well i can say it certainly does that and the system support is ios 9 and above and android 4.4 and above so the first picture in the advertising is this thinner large screen the new visual icon icon is redesigned because of the 1.7 inch large color screen increases the display area and brings a wider field of view using 2.5d curved glass design bring a seamless appearance making the touch experience smoother and eight millimeters that is the whole thing about this watch is that it's less than eight millimeters thick and they make a big deal out of that too now the advertising for the screen full screen strength leading the era of full screen bracelets with the screen accounting for more than 60 percent screen size 1.2 inches or more so take note of what it looks like in the picture and then take note when i show you this watch once again 1.7 inch large screen trendy and bigger world 1.7 true color large screen two weeks of battery life active reminder of abnormal heart rate as i said take note of the pictures also battery life on this thing appears to be very weak because i charged it up completely a month ago and then switched it off and then went to switch it on for this review and it was completely dead so while it just sits to the side it just drains the battery life by itself another ad for the screen claiming that it's a 326 retina screen for the first time to use the retina level screen a custom dial can be used to transfer your loved family pets idols are set on the dial every time you raise your wrist you can see the eyes full of joy Oh, that's nice. But I wonder where they borrowed the uh, retina screen from. Feature-wise, we have eight professional sports modes. Be a health coach on your wrist and record the length of exercise. The calories consumed, the status of different zones is clear at a glance, making your exercise more efficient. And you can run, walk, cycling, swim, rope, skipping, basketball, badminton, and football. All on your world's thinnest smartwatch. You can also receive information online. Bluetooth is online in real time, no matter whether you are busy or not. As long as you wear a bracelet, you can keep in touch with the people you care about. Important things will not be missed. In other words, it shows notifications. 
that's it. Other functions, music control, sedentary reminder, alarm reminder, weather forecast, shake selfie, and stopwatch. IP67 waterproof, both swimming and snorkeling can be worn and can be intelligently identified for strokes. I'm not gonna be dunking this in water. Instead, I'm more interested in the guts of this thing to see how they managed to fit such sophisticated technology into a very thin watch like this. Also has scientific sleep monitoring, accurately records sleep duration and identifies sleep status, targeted provision of 200 plus improvement suggestions and personalized sleep services help you sleep well. And yeah, you can just, is that photoshopped? That's clearly photoshopped onto her wrist there. It identifies six major sleep problems. Okay, well if you're an insomniac, this thing will tell you what to do. More watch faces, free download, multiple dials, multiple choices. So we can try all the different watch faces on this thing. And combined with its cool tied wristband, the standard black wristband is newly added to the Milky Way glass carrier antibacterial agent against as What? The collie? And what? The what? Uh, but, oh, oh. Sure thing. And finally, the seven reasons why you should buy this. The 1.7 inch borderless HD screen, the 326 pixels per inch retina level screen, the 24 hour heart rate monitoring, the blood oxygen test, multiple sports modes, 12 days long battery life, and magnetic charging, touch to power up. If that hasn't sold you, well, I know something that will definitely sell you on this watch, because that's all the listing. And here is the box. The thinnest smartwatch in the world. Less than eight millimeters. And what do you know? I got it from cash converters of all places. Now, I think I purchased this in January of this year and I've been meaning to review it and it's just been sitting to the side and I haven't really done much with it. So now it's finally time to take a look at it because a lot of people ask for smartwatches to be reviewed on the channel, but I just don't find them that interesting. So we'll see what this thing can do with its very good marketing on here. I think I paid $30 for this as well, but I can't quite remember. It's gold because of the stick. Even with this advertising, things are looking fairly innocent at this point in time. It's just a fun little box and everything, but it's when you flip it over, obviously super thin. Yeah, obviously it's super thin. They hint to it being a very thin watch in listings, but it's on the box where they say it's obviously super thin. More features on the side there that we've already basically been over. And then flipping over to the back, we have pictures of what the watch should look like. Should. Product features, the reference dimension of complete machine. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Watch case, aluminium alloy, watch band, silica gel, charging mode, magnetically charged, color, black, gold, silver. The main screen is now 1.69 HD IPS 240 by 280. And touch screen does say 2.5D contoured base capacitive touch screen, supports Bluetooth stuff, heart rate monitor, pedometer, sedentary reminder, sleep monitor, and blood pressure and oxygen. Made in China. The smartwatch app is there. Google Play and App Store. And that's basically it around the box. So now it's time to show show you said thin smartwatch and this is it. So we have a charging cable, which is magnetic. There's two magnets and two pins. It doesn't connect to the computer for any data transfer or anything. It's just a charging cable. Then we have the watch band. It's a bit of a flesh color as well that they were going for. Ooh, the other band there, the watch itself. Now I have put the little protector back on the display because that's what was originally meant to be on there when you open this up. So we'll leave that to the side. I do have the receipt. I actually bought it last year. So they must've only just put it out and then I purchased it. Also right there, 30 whole dollars. So is this gonna be a good watch for $30? Well, we'll have to find that out. Then we have a user manual. Out you come, don't be shy. Oh, okay. Oh, alrighty. So it's like a map. Wow, okay. Smartwatch features. Weather. Messages reminder. Remote shutter. Player shutter. Other features. Stopwatch. Silent alarms. Theater mode. Remind to move. Remind to drink. Getting to know your device. Using in wet conditions. Your device is water resistant. Which means it's rainproof and splash proof and can stand up to even the sweatiest workout. Note, do not swim with your smart bracelet. We also don't recommend showering with your wristband. Though the water won't hurt the device, wearing it 24-7 does not give your skin a chance to breathe. Whenever you get your bracelet wet, dry it thoroughly before putting it back on. Will do. And then we have general info and specifications. It's all in a bunch of other languages which is there, flipping it over. We have, oh, downloading the app, charging and active, pairing. So swipe in all different directions and smartwatch features and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it, I think. Best if we just have a look at the smartwatch itself and work out all the features from there. Here is the smartwatch. And it is obviously based off the Apple Watch, except it doesn't have the crown. It just has this weirdo button. It's not two buttons, it's just 
one button with a little dimple just there. Does that make sense? As stated, the watch is actually metal, which is good, but you're probably looking at it right now going, that's not that thin. And while I don't have a very recent Apple Watch to compare it to, I have a Series 1 that I can compare it to, and that's got no screen on it. And if I just sort of level it up, this obviously thin watch is only like less than a millimeter smaller than a Series 1 Apple Watch, and that is barely a millimeter. Thickness-wise for the body, yeah, I can sort of see that there's a bit of a difference, but it's not too much, but hey, their advertising was like, no, no, it's the world's thinnest one. They're actually measuring the watch it actually comes closer to a centimeter, considering the back bumping out. But the aluminium body of it alone and the screen is pretty close to it. If you take away the bump, then yeah, it's about eight millimeters. Right where my finger is resting, that's the back of the watch. So that's where it comes up to. So pretty much right on one centimeter. It wouldn't have been a proper review without actually measuring it. Obviously the back is very reminiscent of an Apple watch, but looking around the bottom of the watch, we've got the two little contacts there. And then we've got designed by MW0 heart rate water resistant smartwatch little bloke surgeon things to say this watch is certified some water droplets and a heart and that's it around this thing do we really need the band on though tell you what i think i'll just use it like this but if i pull this off yeah it's looking impressive right full screen display all right so let's just put that on and look finish it's fully charged so we're all good to go did that just all right well let's power this thing on then There you go. Shall we talk about the bezels? <laughs> Shall we talk about advertised picture and then device that we received? Not quite full screen. Those are some thick bezels. And the wallpaper that we have by default is zero, just sure thing. So if I touch and hold on the main screen, I can choose a 24 hour looking thing. Oh, I can choose what is Oh, it's just a roller coaster. I thought that was some sort of cyberpunk flesh looking sort of thing. That's the second time I've said flesh during this review. That's odd. Flippy clock sort of looking thing. And another sort of Apple Watch looking one there as well. And then that is basically all of the watch faces so far. So if we swipe down, we have a notification menu. So we've got grid view and list view. I think we'll leave it as grid view. Now, how does one go back? Oh, you press the button, it goes back. Vibration, torch. Well, it's just the the screen lighting up but um yeah i would not trust trying to walk around in the dark using this to illuminate the area that's 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 not a good idea then we have the brightness meter theater mode turn off vibration and turn down brightness fair enough we have the weather which doesn't know anything yet because it's not connected to a phone then settings menu view okay brightness yeah vibration theater reset power off about that's your about right there nothing too interesting and the screen turns off every three seconds i can't change that okay sure all right then swiping right we have a pedometer oh measure blood pressure here we go Let's see if this does work. It won't work. These never work. They claim to work, but I don't think they will. I don't want a cheap smartwatch like this. Okay, supposedly it's 115 over 72. I'm gonna try that again. Let's see if it's the same. I mean, I should probably put the band on. That would make sense. 114 over 77. Maybe there is a blood pressure sensor in here. I can't be too sure. Oh, heart rate. Okay, so they're the sensors. Please wear good and try again. <laughs> Sure thing. All of those little circles there and the two middle ones appear to all be, yeah, sensors. So if I go back to blood pressure, it's the same thing. I'll just test my heart rate again. 81 beats per minute. Okay, I guess that's not bad. Oh, hello. There's extra features that you could do there. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Normal blood pressure range, sleep schedule, sports. All right, swiping left. Okay, we have the menu, which, hey. They weren't lying, except for the bezel sizes. Swapping up also is just messages as well. But swapping left, we have camera app, which needs to connect a phone, which I will connect one. Stopwatch, measure heart rate again. Weather, music player. Does it have a built-in speaker, I wonder? I don't think it does. Exercise, sports, sleep, and settings. Then we have the, uh, gonna say a thermometer. No, it's blood pressure again. Uh, this is air pressure, isn't it? No. What is this? SPO2. 
98%. Does that mean I've got 98% life remaining? I'm just silly and I don't know what that means. Messages, breathe, focus on your breathing. These are actually quite helpful. For people who have panic attacks like myself, these can be actually quite helpful to obviously focus in, in your breathing and that is the right steps as well. Good to see that on a watch like this. It's not hard to implement. So continuing on, we've got alarms, countdown, the torch, app QR code and about and then power off and that's it so it's definitely not a smartwatch it's a fitness watch basically I mean you can say it is a smartwatch because you can do some things with the app to have the, all the smart features and stuff but it's more a fitness thing once again with the display it's on for five seconds and that's it it's off so I've got to quickly do this and it's taking me to a site called plus crapper okay now oh alrighty duff it I am duff it all right, well, let's get this then. All right, would it like to use Bluetooth? Yes, sure. Now I have to do my height, which is like 180 something I've shrunk. Let's just, I don't know, 186, that'll do. Wait, I'm losing weight, getting there. I was born in 1993. All right, add smartwatch. Okay, it's found it. Guess I pair with it. It has paired. Uh, yep. Ha, ah, there it all is. Well, that was easy. Oh, blood oxygen. That's what that is. Okay. So it's fairly basic in terms of the functionality that it does. Pedometer, sleep, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen. Let's actually do that again. You can control it via there. That's all good. Look at more records. Training. That doesn't come up with anything. Okay, well, I guess we just ignore that then. Then I go to... Oh, watch faces. Here we go. Can we pick from a bunch of them? Face gallery. Oh, hello. Let's see if there's anything like... Oh, they got Pac-Man. There's a Pac-Man one. Download immediately. It's downloading. It's transferring. This does look cool. It'd be hilarious if there was a Doom one. It's downloading. Okay, this is probably like the smartest feature so far. Changing watch faces. Hey, man, I'm not going to say no to Pac-Man. Oh, nice. Look at that. And if we go for a bit of a close-up on the display, it's not too bad from what you've seen of it just then. It isn't very vibrant. It is a bit washed out, but... The icons are quite clear for what they are, so I wouldn't say it's a retina screen by any means, but it's not like on those really cheap smartwatches that are also phones. Those displays are absolutely horrific. So we've got some Easter stuff on here, some space ones, uh, some funky colors, some Christmas ones. Judging by the numbers, there's probably like 10,000 different watch faces. Let's just see if there's a Doom one. There's a car one there, some cool old school ones. There's space, man. Another old school one there. Cool little astronaut there. Some uh, Laib. Different country stuff, probably. Yep. I wonder if there's like a cheeseburger one or something. You know, well, there's watermelon. Let's get, we're getting close. We're getting close. Well, that's trippy. Uh, there's a fox panda poking his butt. There you go. Um, no whale. I don't think there'd be a Doom one. Kibby wearing sunglasses. That's cute. Uh, Lucky Cat there too. More Christmas stuff. Halloween spookiness. Little dinosaur there. That's kind of cute. More little old school ones. Some star sign ones. Star sign. No, it's not called star sign. You know the whole Scorpio Pisces thing? It's not coming to the top of my head. I think they're borrowed from the Apple Watch. Oh, smart bracelet there. That's interesting. More basic ones, like really big fonts and stuff. May I love grow? Oh, I like the Pac-Man one so far. That's, that's the best one. Oh, that's it. I mean, you do get a fair amount of options. It's a decent amount, but can you have your own custom ones? I wonder. Uh, so notifications, you can choose what notifications you want. Alarms, very self-explanatory. Shutter, if it would like access to your photos. Um, allow access to all photos. Okie dokie. Click to shutter. Well, it works. Thought it might have shown the preview on the screen, but no. Others, find device. Did that actually do anything? Oh, it just vibrates. So there's no speaker on this. Reminders, auto lock, five seconds. Oh, thank God we can turn this off. 30 seconds. Okay, that'll have to do. Drink water reminder, heart rate, weather, and yep, upgrade. Do we have an update for our friend? It's okay if you don't, but if you do, that'd be cool. Maybe the watch needs to be closer. Tap, 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 tap. Wee. Doesn't seem to be anything profile goal health and about rate me upgrade to beta no thank you so in that case if we now come to the watch itself and then go to music 
It's just to control music from this. It doesn't actually have a speaker built into it. Don't think they could have fit it into their obviously thin smartwatch. They couldn't put a speaker in there. I'm just trying to see if there's any other features on this thing. And there's nothing else. Let me see if I can trick the pedometer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I thought there might have been some more media functionality perhaps, but no, it's just very basic. For a $30 watch, I mean, it, it works as a watch. It tests things, it does your heart rate. You can have custom watch faces. It's thin, I guess. My Galaxy Watch 3, on the other hand, might be a little bit bigger than this one. Just a little bit. I have now made it into a watch. Before I start tearing this thing apart, let me just actually test like blood pressure again and see. Is it missing a, it's missing a piece. Maybe that piece didn't come with it. So you just have to have the watch band just dangling around. That's fine. Let's try heart rate again. 79 beats per minute, okay. I'll do the blood pressure again. As I said, I'm more interested in taking a look at inside of this watch. That's what really is the main focus of this. Because the features on this just aren't really, you know, that impressive. Now it's 120 over 72, okay. It's a very basic watch that'll be helpful for sports activities and sleep schedules and stuff. That Lenfo watch that I reviewed a while ago, that was way better, but that's kind of like an actual proper smartwatch rather than this. Blood oxygen is at now 96%, so there you go. But honestly, that's about it with this watch. Like, I can't think of anything else to really do with this thing. I've shown all the features off, and it's just a very basic one. This is kind of also why I don't look at smartwatches, because there's not too much to look at, especially on the fitness ones. Smartwatches that run an actual like full version of Android, different story. But things like this and all that, there's just not much I can really do with them. So it is what it is at the end of the day, but let's tear this down. That's what I'm interested in. Tearing this down to see what exactly the processor is in this and what the sensors look like. I'm interested. Go ahead and power this off and it says it no power off. Okay. Are you sure you would on to shut down? Yep. That's it. Now we play the game of how do we get into the thing. I'm not too fast in breaking this. I'm likely going to break it anyways trying to get into this thing. Let's just see how sealed this thing is. Front is glass, back is all plastic, and the frame is definitely metal. It wouldn't be the screen that would come off first, would it? Nah. No, nah, I think I'm already in. Oh, oh it's on. Oh, whoops. Oh, off. 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 Friend. Turn off. Switch off. You know, I kind of think the screen comes off first. Plan B. What the fuck is plan B? Plan B is to heat it up then. Now that it is super hot. Ah, fuck yeah. My suction cup's not going to be able to even... No, oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Okay. We're in. The back is sealed shut, I can tell you that. But the screen was not really adhered that strong. It was stuck down, yeah. Like, I can't be certain if that would have survived being submerged in water or not. That gasket, like, look how thin it is. It's not like an Apple Watch where it's like a thick layer that they've put on there. This is just really, really, really thin. But we're now in the innards and this thing is boiling. So the coin style vibration motor is just sort of stuck down into place. The battery is just so cute. I love tiny little batteries. They're just adorable. Oh, there's just a wire that just goes to nothing. That's probably for the Bluetooth most likely. And then we can just pop this little bastard off. There we go. And I've got two screws that hold down the tiny itty bitty motherboard. I mean, they did push it in terms of what they could have fit in this. They went with a big battery. Well, big as in 180 milliamp hours uh, that it says on there. But there's no way that this is the thinnest smartwatch in the world, you know. And the sensors. Oh, hello. All the sensors are just those right there. That's all your sensors. Uh, and what that looks like to me is just a heart rate monitor with some LEDs. I don't think that would be able to do blood pressure or anything like that. I think that might be telling a few fibs there. Because, yeah, there's just not enough sophisticated technology in that to be something that I'd class as, yeah, that. And also the four little LED holes. This one is just all solder pads. There's nothing else there. That's got an LED. That's got an LED. And that's got an LED. Um, and then you've got the middle one there, which... Is Honestly, it just looks like a light sensor pinch from a phone. So that's that. You know, I didn't destroy the back too much, so it'll still work after I uh, finished with this. 
if I wanted to use it, I could. But let's take a look at this gorgeous motherboard. Look how tiny this thing is. So what we're dealing with is that. I cannot even see what that says. I can't even read that. That is so small that I can't even read what that says. So I'll have to Google that and tell you what that is. But that would probably be flash storage most likely because on the back we have the good old Godix. <laughs> Godix processor just there there's a microphone there too that's also another thing that this can do well i believe it's a microphone anyways should be gr55150nd is what that is probably wouldn't be anything too spectacular probably a very low-end chip that they've thrown in this but it works uh and that's the main thing it's one of those moments where it just works don't question it that was a fairly easy tear down i thought it would have been a little bit more complicated but no it was actually fairly easy but i can definitely see that if i tried pulling the back off that would not have worked but at least i tried some open through the back and some open through the front the question is did i actually break this or not all right there we go see it's factory now factory see if it still works Yep, it still works. I actually will say with the display, if you look right through it, you can see that there is a decent amount of glass between it all. The LCD's there, then you've got this big piece of glass, and then that there. Also, I didn't even mention the 2.5D curved glass, which, yeah, it kind of curves a little bit, but, you know, nothing too special. Should we just give this a nice just to see. I'm curious, because that bit of glass is quite thick. Now, since the screen is a little loose, uh, I'll just... Do a little something like this, and uh, yep, there we go. Perfect, that'll do it. Screen's not gonna be going anywhere now. Good old sticky tape. Let me just give it a, a whack then. I've done this with another device recently as well. Granted, this hammer is like, you know, nothing special. I just genuinely wanna see if it can survive a So, yep, it survived. <laughs> That's strong. I don't really like having to resort to violence to testing products, but I was curious to see if that glass would hold up, and sure enough, it did. Well done to your obviously thin smartwatch. Some effort actually went into this thing with the metal body, the pretty thick glass that's on here, and the fact that I couldn't break into the innards. Oh, did I melt the back? Oh, I think I did. Oh, whoops. I used so much heat that I melted the back. It's all warped now. Well, at least I got into it, so that's the main thing. Yeah, look, all together for this thing, I'll give it some praise. It is a thin watch, but it's a thin watch that comes with barely any features whatsoever. The advertising in the box makes it like it's the next big thing, but it's just a Apple Watch clone without the crown and it's missing a speaker. But it has a Pac-Man wallpaper, so all hope is not lost, I guess. Yeah, I really should probably put some adhesive back around this and then uh, stick it back down. But honestly, I think it should be fine. I think you all get a good idea of this watch and what it can do. But this has just been sitting to the side for months now. And while I'm preparing to go on my break, I just figured I may as well look at it, get it done. I know this video probably won't be very interesting to a lot of people who watch the channel because it's just something so basic, but I wanted to cover it because when I seen this at Cashies with the obviously super thin, I was just like, oh my God, that's so funny. I'm going to grab this just to see what it can do. Well, it doesn't do a lot but I tried. I tested everything that I think I could test on this. Even if I didn't test everything, this review is still very boring in my standards, to be honest. So if you're a smartwatch company that watches my videos and stuff, if your smartwatch runs Android, I'm interested. If your smartwatch doesn't run Android, not really interested because the whole gimmick of an Android smartwatch is like putting games onto it and just doing silly stuff with it. Whereas these are just, you know, switch it on, you go, oh, look, it measures this, it measures that, and then that's it, it's done. Regardless though, I hope you did enjoy looking at this thing. It's still a video for me at the end of the day. Obviously, I haven't gone super in-depth with obviously super thin, but I've done my best with what I have in front of me. Is it worth it? For the box, yeah. I think the build quality was actually quite reasonable. Just still wouldn't trust it around water. All right, folks. We're done with that one. Well, I guess you've made it to the end of the video. So thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video. Really do appreciate it. If you had to use the timestamps, so that's completely fine. That's why they're there. If you want to skip through some stuff, a lot of people like to skip through the listing. So that's quite understandable. And also feel free to use Adblock, as I've already mentioned. I shouldn't have to keep mentioning it over and over again, but I just feel I should address it because I don't want to bombard the audience with just add, 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 add. So I minimize it down, publish the video, and then YouTube 
YouTube goes, hey, here's a bunch more for you. And so, you know, it is what it is. So feel free to use them if you need to. All right, everyone, well, that's another cheapo review done. I hope you enjoyed this episode and let me know what you think of this watch down below. And if you've used a similar watch like this, feel free to let me know how it's held up for you and if you've found it to be quite useful. But otherwise, it's just a very generic one that I can now put back to the side and focus on something else. I believe it's past my bedtime. As you can see, it's half past freckle. So um, I will leave it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And as always, please take care, stay safe, be good people. I'll see you on the next one, which will be something. I'm looking at all the somethings I have to review. There's a lot of somethings. I'll get around to it. But until the next time I see you all, please take care and I'll see you around. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.